Hey, and welcome back. This is Jeremy, and today we're going to be covering uh, a couple other topics. Um, topics on uh, creating um, constants, the string class, and primitive versus reference variables. So let's start with creating constant. So what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to make me another Java oops, project, and I'm just going to call it constants. Okay, and then inside here I'm going to make a new class. It's called constant. Just so we have it. Oops, let's see when that's D A N T. Here we go. That looks better. Alright. So, like always, this is our class header. And we need our public static void main oops, string. Right curly brackets again. This is our main method. All right. So what are constants? Well, constants is a it's going to be a value or excuse me a variable that we're going to going to declare that is never going to change. And the first thing that pops in my head would be something like sales tax. Sales tax doesn't change very often if hardly at all and the nice thing about it is is that it just makes your program a lot cleaner instead of typing in the same you know whatever 0.75 percent over and over and over again so how do we do something like this well let's make a uh a, a tax one that's the easiest one to do so we will say we'll use the keyword final which means this is not going to change double oops and we'll put it all in caps so we know for sure that this, hey, this is what it is. So sales tax. And let's see, uh, 0 0.975. Sounds good to me. You might be asking, why is it all in caps? We've not seen this one yet. It's just kind of how Java kind of does it by their own little conventions. You put everything in uppercase and they'll use underscore to separate words. So it's just a little easier to, uh, to read. Okay, so now that we got this made, let's go ahead and let's just make another double. Uh, we'll make a double called um, uh, price, just so we get an idea on how to use this. And we'll set price to say ten dollars. Okay. So to get to use this, we can say uh, system dot out dot print line uh, we could we could call price plus sales tax just to print them out to the screen we'll hit run I see it, it literally added them together I'm sorry let me put a space in between these so they don't get added there you go so we got our price and our sales tax to be printed out. But you might be thinking, well, hey, I actually want to know what the whole sales tax is on $10. Well, we can just make ourselves another um, variable. We'll call it total. And we'll say total uh, equals, let's see, how do we want to figure this out? So we need price. I also need price again. So. Let me type it out and I'll explain to you real quick. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to times price times sales tax. And whatever this value was, it be added to price, which is going to be put into the variable called total. So all we have to do here is it's called total, and we should get our sales tax, right? No, that's not that won't work. Um, let's see. Let's do it this way. We'll call it subtotal because that would be better. Subtotal and another double called total. So this plus that, and then we'll say total. 
total equals um, price plus subtotal. That should give us the correct answer. Oops, if I don't erase it by accident. What's giving me the right answer is just this total as way, or this tax is too high. It's supposed to be 0 0.97. Who would want to pay, gosh, 90 cents on a dollar? All right, so let me run this again. There you go, that looks better. $10 and that 97 cents. That looks, that looks right. Okay, so actually we just wrote a quick little uh, program. <laughs> now, did he plan on doing that one? Okay, so next we got the um, the string class. So the string class, um, we've used, I don't think we've used that one yet, have we? We might have. So if we have a variable, that we want to use a variable called name. Well, we use this keyword string, which actually is a class. Uh, a string if you've noticed it has it starts with an uppercase letter which all classes do within the um, the Java language and so within Java there's no primitive data type that holds a series of characters so there's this so they uh, created this this class called um, string I guess is the best way to really remember it and the next thing I wanted to cover real quick was primitive versus uh, reference. So a primitive variable is actually um, a value is contained into what we have, as, uh, have, have assigned. So like this price, this would be a primitive variable. Like we said, okay, this price is going to be equal to, to ten dollars. So this ten ten dot zero zero is actually stored in a memory location that's associated with this name called price. So objects are not stored in variables. So like this would be an object name. But it's um the reference by the variable. Which is kind of confusing. So or I thought it was anyways. So let me actually make this equal something. So my name. Oops, we have a quotes around it. For it to work right. Sorry about my voice. I'm getting over a little bit of cold. So when this variable um, uh, references an object, it's contained in memory address where the object location is. So, so that's why it's called reference by variable uh, or variable reference. Sorry. Um, so like this would be the address. Name name would be the address of, of the uh, to the object, and this would actually be the what's contained within the object. I think I explained that right. Yeah. Okay. Um. Let's uh, let me cover one more other thing. You got like I said with string objects, you have the uh, so a variable is assigned to a string literal. So you have to have this statement here, string Jeremy, or string name equals Jeremy. Strings are the only objects that can be created this way. And there's, I don't, I don't think there's any other ones out there like this. A variable can be created using a keyword new. So we could actually do this if we wanted to. Um, string, I say name equals new, which is the keyword string. We'll say Bob, so just one different. We go up, actually, we should name this uh, not name. Let's go F name so we don't have a conflict. So, this is another way that you, you could do this, but this is probably the easiest way right here on top. Mm, I hope I explained that correctly. Hope I didn't confuse and lose a lot of you on that one. Like I said, it took me a little bit to really understand. You can actually look this stuff up. Just type in like Java string class and you can find all sorts of better documentation, but I'm just trying to help you out explain it the best I know how to explain it. 
So until then, hope you guys have a great one. Remember to hit that subscribe, like, video, any questions, comments, put them down below. I'll do my best to answer the ones I can. Okay? You guys have a good one.